Hello and welcome back to the Audacity Bootcamp. Is there a difference between loudness and volume when we're talking about podcasting or editing any kind of audio for that matter? One of the things that we talk about a lot in here is loudness units or LUFs or loudness leveling. We refer to it from time to time. We've talked about it off and on. When we're doing a, a mono podcast, we're to hit that target of a minus 19 LUFs. If we're doing a stereo podcast, our target LUFs level is a minus 16 LUFs. Now, if you're uploading your podcast to Spotify, they're going to take that minus 16 lefts or that minus 19 lefts, and they're going to boost it up a little bit higher. They're going to boost it up to a minus 14 lefts. If you're uploading audio to YouTube and the audio is louder than a minus 14 lefts, they're actually going to bring it down a little bit to a minus 14 lefts because their standard is a minus 14 lefts as well as Spotify's. But the question we're going to talk about in this video has to do with loudness versus volume. And we're going to ask and answer the question, are loudness and volume the same thing? So what you see here before you is a screen with a real podcast. And this is my HOA podcast that I do. This is just a short piece of the audio that I pulled out of there to demonstrate what I want to show you in this video. This uh, waveform that you see here has been leveled to a minus 19 LUFS. You can see how I label it there on the top left, episode 18, and then in parentheses, I just a little note to myself, a minus 19 lefts and 192 kilobits. This is actually an MP3 file that I, I leveled in Auphonic to a minus 19, having exported my WAV file out of Audacity into Auphonic, leveled it to a minus uh, 19 lefts, and then imported it back in here as an MP3 file just to show you what's going on. So this file across the board from beginning to end is at a minus 19 LUFS. If I push play, we can listen to a little bit of it. Hey, I want to talk to you real quick about just a few things. Oh, by the way, I guess I should say that I'm flying solo today. I'm the only voice you're going to hear in the podcast today, so I'll apologize for that. So pretty clear audio. It's, it's all ready to go. In fact, it's out there. It's public. I posted this a few days ago. And so it's out there. If you want to go listen to the Lionsgate HOA podcast, then you'll be able to get this as some cheap entertainment. But what I want to show you today is the difference between loudness and volume, because those are not the same thing. This minus 19 LUFS is the loudness of my WAV file from beginning to end. It's the perceived loudness, the average loudness of my WAV file, even though there's little spots where the volume spikes up and then back down. The average audio, or the LUFS level rather, is a minus 19, and that doesn't change unless I go in and change it. Volume, however, is a different thing. If I play this track again, which I'm going to do in just a moment, I'll move the slider, the volume slider, up and down so you can hear me changing the volume. So let me do that, and then we'll come back and talk some more. Hey, I want to talk to you real quick about just a few things. Oh, by the way, I guess I should say that I'm flying solo today. I'm the only voice you're going to hear in the podcast today, so I'll apologize for that in advance. I don't know how entertaining I can be just by myself, but I do want to talk to you about some important... So you heard there as the file played, as the waveform went through the playhead and did its thing, I adjusted the volume of the track. Now, the volume of the track is something that you heard in your speakers or however you're listening to this right now. You heard that volume change. But it's important to note that the loudness didn't change. I didn't change the loudness level. It stayed at a minus 19 LUFS all the way through. What did change is my volume level as I listened to it. In other words, if I'm listening to a piece of audio through a, a set of speakers, let's, let's use it as an example, what happens when I'm changing the volume is that the speakers are modulating more, moving more air, and so the volume goes up as I listened to it, but I didn't touch the loudness. The loudness is still at a minus 19 LUFS. And the advantage of that is that as someone's listening to your podcast or your music or whatever you're doing, if you've got a loudness level set and it's set through the entire file, through the entire waveform, through your entire project from beginning to end, it saves the person listening from having to adjust the volume, from having to chase it up and down, if they're in a noisy environment, you know, say they're in a car and there's a lot of, of road noise and they're listening to it through their car stereo and there's quiet spots and then there's loud spots, they're always chasing the volume around. You don't want that. People don't want that. I don't want that. I've listened to podcasts that are like that where I've ha I'm having to change the volume up and down and quite frankly, yeah, I turn it off after a couple of minutes of that because it gets tiring. 
But if you set your loudness level to one standard from beginning to end, again, for a mono podcast, it's a minus 19 luffs. For a stereo podcast, it's a minus 16 luffs. Regardless of how you've set it, if you've set it for one consistent level throughout, it's going to be a better listening experience for those subscribers that you have to your podcast. So that's the difference between loudness and volume. I can adjust volume all day long, but I haven't touched the loudness. Now, if I have the loudness set right, the need to adjust the volume diminishes. So there's a difference between loudness and volume. Hey, I hope you benefited from that short conversation on loudness versus volume. I want to remind you that you can find me online at audacitybootcamp.com anytime. Also, I teach a course at udemy.com called Audacity Bootcamp Beginner to Advanced. So you can swing on over there to udemy.com and search for that class, Audacity Bootcamp Beginner to Advanced, or I can simplify it for you, which I've already done. The link is up in the header, wherever the header is here. And it's also going to be in the description below. I'll make sure that it's there as well so that you can get to the Audacity Bootcamp Beginner to Advanced in the simplest possible way. Hey, if you like what's going on here at the Audacity Bootcamp, I want to remind you again, please subscribe and hit that bell so you get notified and let others know what's going on here at the Audacity Bootcamp. So until next time, take care.